Hey guys, it's Lauren here, popping in today to share with you a layout I've created as part of the Hip Kit Club design team. And I'm using the beautiful, beautiful May kits to create this really happy, fun layout. And so you'll be really proud of me, guys. This video is under 10 minutes. Now, I know you've probably just fallen off your chair, but... This layout's under 10 minutes, which is a miracle for me, but I knew that I'm going to have to start trying to get my videos down a little shorter, just, you know, so you don't get bored with them. <laughs> but anyways, achieved today, and it's exciting because today is my 40th birthday, so this is not only a treat for me because I achieved it, but it's also a treat for you because it's only 10 minutes long, so it's a nice birthday treat for me. Um, and sharing with you this fun layout is um, definitely a pleasure for me. Now, as you can see, to get it under 10 minutes, I already had done my cut file there and laid up those cute daisies. Now, I was challenged from the team today to do a layout using the daisy cut file, which is available over at the Hip Kit Club website. If you sign up to be on the mailing list, you get to access all the free cut files and use them in your scrapbooking. So if you haven't joined, pop on over and join and you too can create a really fun layout like this one. So I've just started by using my silhouette and cutting out the different elements. Now, as you can see over on my left hand side, there's a wreath and the, the wreath is designed to go with the cut file. But I just I saw the photos and I had all these gorgeous daisies and I thought I'm just going to set that wreath aside and I'll save that for another layout and just have a really colorful, playful layout with all these daisies just jumping off the page. Uh, these photos are of myself and Katie having some Snapchat fun. She looks so cute. Of, of, of course, Elsa, our puppy, is always uh, in Katie's arms and makes many a photo in our family. And so I had these fun photos and I thought I would just make a fun layout, a really happy, flowery, kind of crazy layout. And yeah, so I've made these daisies. I use the cut file and then I uh, I offset a I offset I I sorry let's start again I cut out two lots of the daisies and then I the little center pieces in there the circles I cut those out and then I offset the circles so I would have a double layer in the center there I just thought they would it just adds an extra bit of interest and makes those daisies a little bit more of a feature so that's how I've done those just I just have a silhouette and it's really really easy to use there so here I am thinking I've got my beautiful daisies, they're all happy, I've laid up my photo just with a single border and now I'm going to have some mixed media fun. So I've pulled out the Colour Kit uh, Lindy Stamp Gang little magical powders uh, from May's Colour Kit. And I thought I'm just going to have a little play around with them. And I know from my experience with working with these, you can get, um, you're in control of how much pigment sort of goes on, which is a lovely thing when we're using other sprays and mists and things like that. Sometimes you get a consistency in color, whereas the magicals, you can actually add more powder and get a stronger color. Um, you also get some interesting colors. So here I am, I, I knew there was some greens in the, in the paper so I thought I'd just mix a bit of the blue and the yellow and made a green but when that um, green dried it was really interesting I think it reacted with the gesso that I'd applied on the page and it all it it almost turned out fluoro um, and and same with that yellow it all were, like you'll see it drying over the course of this layout and it turned out fluoro so if um, you're interested in fluoro powders then that yellow and that green um, will be <laughs> the ones those colors are the blue is called afternoon delight denim the yellow is called yodeling yellow there you go yodeling yellow 
and the pink is called Alpine Ice Rose. And as you can see, I've just applied water and I've just moved it around the page and I'm just having lots of fun creating really colourful background there to match my beautiful colour photos. So you can start to see it kind of changing to that fluoro. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to make of it actually, but I knew my flowers would cover up a lot of it, so... I wasn't too worried about it. Um, so yeah, the background, a lot of it, as you, as my usual style, a lot of it gets covered up, but I really enjoy playing with those mixed media powders and they're lots of fun. And if it gets covered up, it does. It's the joys in the journey, isn't it? And I think I say that every video, <laughs> but anyway, so here I am, I've just laid up my two photos and now I'm going to be using some foam to help them jump off that background and not get lost in all those flowers. So I've just used some foam, I've just configured them in the way that you see on the page there and now I'm just using some wet glue and I'm going to uh, just place my flowers where my heart desires. You saw me sitting um, placing them out before and if you look back on the video they, the, the flowers are in a different spot to what they were then but I just wanted to get a bit of a feel around how is this going to come together when I place all these flowers out and so it doesn't really matter they will work obviously when you're placing flowers you kind of want to make sure that you're not covering up intricate pieces of the photo um, so putting some under the photo and on top of the photo making sure you're not taking away from the photo too much is always a tip that I like to to live by and it tends to work for me these cute little bows are exclusives in the may kits and you make them up yourself they come flat packed and i just mix them up and use different colors and the different centers and they just turned out so cute they're fabric so it's lovely to add a bit of different texture on your page and yeah this this layer as you can see is just really easily coming together those gorgeous clear stickers are from the all heart collection and they were perfect just to add some little leaves popping out from under those flowers obviously we're not in proportion with size like I'm sure a flower this size is not going to create a leaf that size but it was just creating a little bit more dimension and a little bit more points of interest and it also just sort of tied the layout together and carried the flowers through to each other Here's some, another exclusive that I absolutely adore. These are from uh, Kim Watson designed these and they're just acetate butterflies. Usually I bend them in half and the little wings pop up but this time I just thought I can leave them flat because there's already so much dimension on my layer. So just three little butterflies. I love to work in threes and um, I have just create, you know, brought this another element to bringing uh, this layout to life. Obviously with flowers, butterflies are not far behind. So here I am now thinking about my title and I'm thinking about um, any other little embellishments that want to go together. But as you can see, the flowers have really done the job. So not much more is needed. That Chasing Rainbows was a really cute little piece of ephemera and I thought that's a cute little um, title so I've popped that on there and I'm just going to finish off with some journaling so how's that a nice quick layout <laughs> I hope you like this lad if you're new to my channel welcome I am I'm just a happy scrappy mum who enjoys sharing her work and hope that I inspire you if you like my style please subscribe to my channel share this layout with your friends if you're if you really love it and give me a like that really helps my channel all right guys any questions ask them below and I'm happy to help out take care bye